What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 78, Bedrooms. And we're going to be talking about the LCQ tournament that just went down over the weekend. It was awesome. Uh, a lot to talk about. Everything uh, involving Madden, involving this, involving that. It was definitely well worth the show. And before we start anything with the show, man, before we really talk about it, chat, seriously, like, we got to step back and say, good job, man. We'd be ready to kill EA all the time at every moment. I feel like they, this was the the best effort they have ever put together. Now, I know it was only, what, six games, and we'll see how much better <clears throat> We'll see how much better or how it's going to go for the Madden Bowl. We shall see that. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's going to be great. I don't really know uh, how it's going to continue. But but out of six games, how many games did we watch? Six? About six, seven games, right? It was fabulous. It was well done. All directed from these kids' houses, uh, you know, through all, all the different, you know, analysts were at different spots. All through one product, it, honestly, it really was awesome. It was really well done uh, in a time where it's not the easiest thing to put on a tournament. Uh, and you got to really just give them props for for being able to put this together. And it, it pretty much went flawlessly. I, I mean, I, obviously, I wasn't a part of it, so I don't know if it was uh, easy on their end. If it, you know, how much effort it took and uh, how many little problems they had to troubleshoot and everything. Uh, I know they did delay the tournament on Saturday. It was delayed three hours, and I feel like that's a good thing. One, we're not going anywhere. You know, make sure everything's right. Make sure everything's ready to go. Make sure everything runs smoothly. I feel like, boom, I feel like that's okay. I mean, it's not the best thing, but at the end of the day, make sure everything's right. And everything was right. It really, everything ran great. It was a good watch. All, I mean, I feel like we've been saying it all year. All the, the talent, all the broadcasting was A1. From a Mo and user, and I think James was the like the studio host. Um, they were really good, always between Mo and user being an asshole. It's just really, a really fun to watch. As and I'm a person that doesn't really, I really don't care about what they got to say because they're not teaching me anything. You know, most of the time I tune out all the commentary because I they're really not teaching me anything. The commentaries are people that you know don't really know what's going on. I don't know how to explain that, but I mean I, I really. You know, but between Mo and User and even Skimbo and T. Davis, they all even teach me things, and I all can really, uh, really take things from them, and I enjoy. They're all entertaining. They're all very well spoken. So everything was really good. Like seriously, everything was really good. And uh, as much as man, if shit would have went bad, we would have piled, we would have piled dog shit on them for days, right? That's what. And then you know, like, oh, you can't do anything right. They they executed this tournament very well. Like I said, it was six games, but. And on top of that, it's also, you know, what you got to realize, like, like, yeah, getting Skimbo to stream or getting Skimbo to play a game on stream is, isn't that big of a kid. You know, these guys that are used to playing on stream in their house or, you know, being behind the scenes for so long. I mean, you're talking about a bunch of kids that really haven't been in this position before, you know, between Justin, even Fancy, even uh, Jay Wall's played a couple, you know, club series games and shit, but these guys haven't had that much experience with the, you know, with the production aspect of it, you know, these, uh, you know, even streaming and all this, like, they're not experts at that stuff, you know, the, and the, to get all these guys, everything runs smoothly, it really was a good job, man, and, uh, so, yeah, that's the first thing I want to do before we get into laughing at all these kids and their bedrooms and, and, you know, we, we, I mean, if you guys checked out, we did stream all weekend, so, I mean, the one thing that sucks about when you get to a tournament, man, and, and I've always said uh, about you know streaming is about the chat room, you know, and EA had EA the EA chat is point you can't use it, you know, and I think uh, I think EA should almost have separate chat rooms, one for the OGs and ones for like the new guys that just want drops, really. Yes, J J Wall's freeze frame was very good. Uh, I do want to talk about these these bedroom analysis, you know, I I really didn't know what 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 order to go with all these topics and really where to go with it you know uh I, I as far as the games are concerned ps4 uh Pavin pretty much just did what he wanted um he really played very well he was a higher class than the other two guys you know and then radiant having to drop out um 
it sucks, but uh, it, it only three games, only three people on that side. So only th what we see, we saw three games because Pavin beat uh, Glover twice. But uh, those games honestly were, were kind of boring. So Sunday kind of put me to sleep just because Pavin just, I mean, kind of ran away with it, honestly. Uh, and as far as Xbox, we'll get into Xbox a little bit. I thought Xbox was a lot, more, a lot higher class, a lot more entertaining for me. Uh, when you have, when you have guys that are all friends and play together all the time, it's just a lot more fun man to watch because. You know, they know what their friends are going to do and, and what they're going to do to try to stop it and so on and so on. You get to like the 10th level of adjustments. It's really fun to watch. Uh, get it how you do. I should have a skimbo quote aspect of the podcast. We should have skimbo quotes, you know what I'm saying, as a part of the podcast. Because uh, he puts some quotables out there. You know, he, he does a great job. He's got some quotables. And uh, I know you guys watched it when he said, you got to get it how you do. That 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 was a legendary quote from Skimbo. He also said something. Oh my God! I, you guys know better than me. He like that one time, man. My man Golden Glover. <laughs> my man Golden Glover was down. No, when he was like, <laughs> Skimbo said it went from thirty six to twenty six. That's ten seconds. <laughs> Yo, that no, that shit is funny, man. Yeah, when he was like, Yo. Golden Glover is down 17, but you know what? He's got one thing going for him. He gets the ball. And it was a long, awkward pause after that. Like, like, bro, you don't got nothing else for us? He can't try to fight? Like, what are the other positives? Like, that was funny. Uh, but I said everybody did, uh, uh, everybody did a great job from broadcasting to the people. Yeah, that was rough. But I do want to talk, I do want to break down the bedroom analysis. Uh, and see who you guys think had the best room. Am I missing somebody? Oh, I think I didn't do this one yet. Yeah. Now, I, I... Like I said, not everybody is built for this streaming life. And I, I mean, I was watching some old, some of my old clips today. And, dude, my, listen. I was watching some of my old clips today, and you know, it used to just be a, a webcam, not even a webcam, like a little, the connect cam from the basement, you know what I'm saying? My man Diesel with the Twitch Prime, my guy. You know, um, so let's go ahead, we're going to break, we're going to talk about the, these, these situations here, these uh, bedrooms, so to say. I'll put this over here, boom, yeah, there we go. So we got the bedrooms here. This is the first one up is my man Golden Glover. Not the best performance for him, but you know, I'm gonna be real. He's got he's got a very uh, I don't know what the word is. His bed is it, it, it's it's fairly um. This is a sturdy bed right here. You know this is this is sturdy. I gotta get I gotta give you an A plus on the bed frame. Gotta give an A plus on the bed frame, Chad. Now when I first saw his room, I said you know this guy's ready. You know, he didn't spend time fluffing his pillows like Fancy. Like, Fancy spent five hours, you know, Fancy spent five hours fluffing pillows and ironing his sheets. You know, so at, at first I was like, you know, Glover got a chance, bro. He's been in the lab. He's been labbed up. He's been practicing. You know, he's got, he doesn't have time for the goofy. You know, like his pillows. Like, any man that has mismatched pillowcases... That's the guy I can, I, that's the guy I can root for, you know, because I'm the mismatched pillowcase type of guy, you know, because you know sometimes one pillowcase is dirty or one pillowcase falls off and you gotta wash it, but the other pillowcase is good, you know. You don't necessarily have to watch bo wash both pillowcases at once, you know. Am I right or am I wrong, Chad? I feel like that. I feel like a guy with mismatched pillowcases. That's a guy you can trust. All right. Yeah. Now, now let me know, Chad. Now you know sometimes. I have a camouflage pillowcase, and I have, uh, you know, I have a, a red pillowcase. You know, let me know. Now, he got his sheets over the wall. Now, I'm not a big fan of this white sheet here. Now, this is problems that our streamers deal with all the time. You can't let too much light come in. I don't know where Golden Glover lives, but boy, it's a sunny day. Uh, you know. So, the bed, I give it A+. Plus. The pillowcases, gotta trust the guy. Gaming chair, I'm not really too much a fan of the green gaming chair. Not too much a fan of it. The pictures, you know, we got this. I'm not really a man with a picture frame that sits on a desk. 
You know, I'm not really that. That's not really my style. I don't know how Jay, my guy with the sub. Yeah, you gotta you gotta calm down the light because if you calm down the light, chat, then the light on from the light that the I'm assuming they gave them some crazy light. I didn't see any of the setups, but I'm assuming they have a light on their face or some type of flood lamp or something to just get their light lighting on their face really good. And if you put other light to compromise that light, it's not gonna look as smooth. The folding comforter with, with oh oh folding back may okay he made the bed you know but like I said I'm not a picture frame standing up on the desk type of guy I'm I, you know I and what is his light situation here so we don't have a lamp other thing that's a little bit psycho for me is this gap right here between the bed and the nightstand like this is a pretty vicious two foot gap right here you know what I'm saying I like my nightstand buzzed right up against the bed. Now, let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm right, chat. I feel like the nightstand should be, boom, right up against the bed. You know, I don't really know about this gap right here. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I, I just not comfortable with this gap right here. You know, not comfortable with it. Just saying. But overall, I'm not, I'm not mad at the room. It looks like a, looks like a room of a man that, that you know, know, knows what he wants, you know? I kind of, I kind of get it. I, I kind of go six point five. I probably give this room a six five. Chat. What are we thinking? Eighty four, Donnie. Eighty four is a little high. Six. I went six five. So that's like a, you know, like a seventy. Could be a radiator. What type of little ass radiator is in here, right here, man? Yeah, I'm about a six five on this. I'm about a six five. I, I don't know what this is a picture of. It looks a little psycho. I like that. I feel like the bed matches the nightstand, though. That's a good touch. Oh, gaming chair. Like I said, not really a fan of the jet green. Mismatch pillowcase is always a W. Okay, I like. I like it. I like it. Oh, you think that? You, do you think the bed should be pushed up a little bit more? Now, I mean, that's a good point. Uh, I think it's childish to have your bed pushed all the way up against the wall because. You never know, man. Obviously, he's probably lives with his parents, so he's not going to have that many escorts or anything hopping in here. But you never know. And you never want to have your bed pushed all the way up against the wall because then a woman has to climb over the bed to get to you, you know? So if you you never know. Now, now, it might not be likely, you know, with the uh, Mr. and Mrs. living at home, but you never know. Like, these windows are accessible. You see both sides, double windows. You got to have some gutters to climb down or something. You never know what could happen. So bumping your bed all the way up against the wall little bit childish honestly just a little bit childish now me when i lived with my parents in a row home you know i had to bet all the way up against the wall you know and it wasn't the best thing for the um for the escorts and everything you know you know yeah so obviously but he's in between right here you know he's in between like they the, this gap is not big enough to walk through but he's not only pushed up against the wall so like what are we really doing here it could be an outlet here he likes to plug up to and you know be able to access right chat it could be it could be something he could do there to access the uh what you call it access the uh range i should be on this one i'm tripping oh we're back i got i got to lower this so we can see the chat almost there There it is. Boom. There it is. So, all in all, Chad, I feel like I feel like this is a solid room. Really nothing to really roast here. Now we gotta move on to my man Yardstick. Move on to Yardstick. Now I'll be real. He did his hair for this. I gotta appreciate a guy that got the makeup and the hair done for this. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, you know. Uh a lot of a lot of red theme here obviously they have a red light somebody didn't catch on to that all the way now this is more of like a den they told me uh yardstick is a doctor so i mean this looks like a college college couch like he's had this couch a long time i'm assuming he's a, he's got like his own room for playing the game you know i don't think this is like this isn't a main living room it's not a basement because obviously we have big windows here um, we have the little chief's lamp. I'm gonna be honest. This chief lamp is. We gotta have better. We gotta have better chief lamp than this. This lamp is kind of weak. I this this lamp is an L. I mean, not feeling it. This is not the main living room. 
Because, uh, like, you're not going to have... There's just not the main living room. Because, one, it's kind of a small room. Because, you see, he's up against the wall. And the other wall is right behind him. So, this is more of a den side room. Maybe even addition to a house. Something like that. Uh, the couch, very... I, not feeling... It. This is... This is yards that, like this is his couch when he was you know nineteen to twenty four. I don't know how old he is. Doesn't look as young as the rest of the guys. Probably one of the only competitors with real facial hair. Um, so he's got to be you know at least the youngest. He's got to be twenty five, right? I don't. I, yeah, I would some type of some type of den or something, right? Yes, def, guest house or pool house, something like that where he doesn't. Oh, he's 29? Okay, that's a good guy. I'm saying so, yeah, this is the couch he had when, before under 25. And he was like, let me just put that in here. You know, my wife said I can't have it. I don't know if he's married or anything. You guys know better than me. But, yeah, this is like, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely the, the, the Brazzers couch right here. This is definitely a Brazzers couch right here, right here. But as we move on, we got to have, we got to have some type of pictures up here, though, man. We a little more decor. You know, we got the Chiefs blanket. He laid it out nice. We could have laid out the blanket a little bit better, honestly. You know? You know what I'm saying, chat? Like, I mean, we got a Chiefs logo. We can't even really see it. So you got to have better, like, what I can see from the stream type of angles and stuff. You know, you got to have that. You got to be more aware of what your camera picks up. But I don't know. Like, it's hard to really... Uh, see, this is a man with the, with the, with the, you know, with the side den. You know, it's hard to really cap. The light is a little weak. The couch, obviously, the Brazzers couch, and the blanket could be laid out a little bit better. You know, top quality hair, though. I'll be honest. So, on no, three five, we get this a three five. That's a rough call. The blanket is on the chair. See, that's a good. I got fooled. That's a good question, Red Rescue. The blanket is actually on the chair. That's that's. See, I didn't get hip to that. Okay, so you add a little bit of stability, a little bit of cushion to your chair. I like that, you know. We go we go 67 overall. I mean, listen, and when you get into these gaming situations too, like and like I said, these guys probably never assume that, yo, my gaming room or my bedroom is going to be on camera, right? But they never assume that. Holes in the blinds? You think this is a hole? Is he cracked the blind right here? He got two? Are these not per like what the hell? This is where this is weird. Because they kind of almost look purposely there. And does it not look weird that this windowsill is lower than this one? Is Am I tripping for that? Is it just the angle of the camera? But windows this close normally have the same, the same height off the ground. Interesting dilemma we're coming across here. So it makes me think like this little hole in the blind is almost purposeful. But why would they have that? I don't know. I don't know if it's the camera angle, bro. I don't know. Seven seven, hair A plus quarantine hair A plus, for sure. Solid seventy one. We're rating rooms, man. He got a cat. <laughs> oh man! All right, who we got next? Oh my man, Pavin. Pavin, Pavin is a man of many colors. We all know he has a blue room, right? Because we watch him stream regularly. He has a blue room. Right? He got he has the Aladdin magic carpet joint popping. He got the magic carpet comforter. That's gotta be an A plus. Yeah. The magic carpet comforter gotta be an A plus, bro. Like it, you could just whip this joint out and travel. Like that's that's what's crazy. I'm saying? He's got I mean, I feel like he has five closets here. You know, and like I said, a man with a closet with how, like you have nothing on the shelf. Like you don't own anything. To put on the shelf. Like you gotta have something. A bowling ball. You know what I'm saying? A backpack. You know, if you're fancy, you could put your shoes up here. You know, some people like their shoes at high level, you know. You know what I'm saying? Now I will tell you, I personally don't like, you know the blanket with the blue room. I feel like when you paint your room blue, chat, hear me on this. I feel like when you paint your room blue, the rest of your room kind of has to go with that color. Do we agree or disagree? 
You know, you can't go all out and say, I'm going to make my room blue and then literally not have anything else blue in the room. You know, I feel, I feel like you kind of got to keep a theme with the room after it goes blue. You know I'm saying you kind of got to keep a theme. Right? That's just how I feel. But all in all, I mean, between the blanket, the space of the room, honestly, probably the biggest room by far. So Pavin, you know, Pavin won 100K last year, so he's living good, you know, so that's what I'm saying. And th there is a lack of decor in this room, you know, could be something else, could get a little floor, a floor rug or something like that. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, you can't go strong color and then have a red, do you think this is a red, this, this blanket has some red in it, right? It's not all. It's not just all from the light. I don't know. There's a picture over here. Yeah, I can't really see that. You know, we got the. You know, the dresser's in the corner. You can't open. I mean, obviously, I mean, you gotta be able to open the. Maybe if you open the drawer, you can't open the closet. That type of combo, but, you know, the spacing isn't that great. You know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yo, it's a burgundy, a darker red. You know, it's a little weird to go with the blue walls, but you know. The, is this blanket from JCPenney? That's a good point. This blanket could be from JCPenney. The other thing I will make a note of that we talked about over the weekend, bro, the team polo shirts, as I move on to the next guy, the team polo shirts are glitched. The team golf shirts are glitched. They're glitched. I, I'm telling you, whoever shows up and playing in Madden Bowl with a team golf shirt is winning. Look at this. I mean, a team golf shirt, a team golf shirt. Both players buttoned to the neck, right? Both players, all three buttons buttoned, ready to go. You can't, like, you can't make, like, I don't know how this wasn't talked about. You know, honestly. And this is what else I'll tell you. This is what else I'll tell you guys about this, Right? These guys went into the pro shop. They saw the jerseys. They saw the hoodies. They saw the t-shirts. They said, no, I want the golf shirt. Those people are demons. You have to be a demon to go into the pro store and pick the golf shirt. Of all the things they have, all the opportunities they have for you to get swag, you say, I'm picking the golf shirt. Now, I'll be real. The Raiders one is a little less crazy because it's just a black golf shirt with the Raiders logo. Not bad. The Seahawks one with the lime green shoulders. Listen, D. Croft looks like he's a tight ends coach or something, you know? It's a, listen, it's a good look. I'll be honest. It's a good look, chat. It's a good look. And it's undefeated in LCQ. How can a man... That's getting ready to play in the man bowl, not take note of the undefeated golf shirts. Now I'll tell you, of all the people that are playing in Madden Bowl, who is most likely to copy the golf shirt swag? That's what I'll ask you guys. Who is most likely to say, you know what? I'm gonna try the golf shirt. I don't know. Would Bugs rock the golf shirt? Would Joke go golf shirt? I don't think Clef would ever go golf shirt. Volt in a golf shirt? Pretty crazy. Wesley in a golf shirt? I couldn't see. I don't even think. What's crazy is I don't even think Wesley has ever owned a golf shirt. I don't think Wesley has a shirt with a collar. Le legitimately, Wesley has no shirt with a collar. Drenny would definitely go golf shirt. But and we go here as we as we we get off of the golf shirt and we talk more about the actual room of Decroft. You know he's up against the wall like myself, which is smart placement of the gaming. You know you want to be a streamer, you go up against the wall. Sometimes there's two options: you go up against the wall or you show the back background of your crib. Decroft already made this decision. I'm going up against the wall. This curtain right here, solid curtain. This curtain looks strong. Now, I don't know if this was a curtain EA gave him, but this curtain is like the one I used to have in my bedroom. I used to have. This curtain doesn't like, it doesn't let Satan in. You won't see nothing through this curtain. I can tell. 
Like this curtain is 10 pounds. 1,000%. 1,000% this curtain is 10 pounds. Good curtain, up against the wall. Really nothing to cap about. You know, I, I can't really even give any comments. I honestly got to give them 10 out of 10 for stream setup, you know? Powers, what's good, man? All right, so then we move on to the... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> no. This is 1 million percent Jay Wall's guest suite in his in his crib. This is a guest suite. This is not Jay Wall's room, bro. 1 million percent. This is this is like his parents' guest suite. That will not be bluffed. I will not be bluffed right here, man. No, this is the guest suite. He don't sleep in here. This is the room they have just for Now he might honestly he might play in the guest suite all the time though. Right? J Wall has duct tape on a headset because I'm assuming this might be a HyperX headset, and you can't put their logo on e on e yeah you can't show their logo. That's why a lot of times you'll see people with like Adidas blocked out on, on the stage and stuff. He has this to block out the logo really. Um. But yeah, this is the guest room. Yeah, this is Grandma J Wall room. Like One thousand percent, Donnie. That that that's that's what this room is. Uh, I don't know why he chose to set up in this room. Maybe this is where he plays the game all the time. I doubt it. Uh, I never lived in a house with a guest room, but for me, um, I wouldn't want to go to the guest room to play the game. I would want to stay in my room or go to a family room or something of that nature. Um, but this is this room is sick. You know, like this this is this is like I always assume like when people have a guest room, it's pretty much all the shit that they had before like that they, they kind of don't want anymore. Like this lamp. This lamp, they don't really want this lamp anymore. You know, what is this a picture of? It looks like a guy on a horse or another person, two people. Maybe it's, I don't know what the hell this is over here. I thought it was a horse at first. Now it looks like two people and a blob of brown here, you know. You know. And the pillowcases, there's no person that has pillowcases. The hair, I... Decroft, man, I told you guys, and and I'll be honest, everybody else, everybody else kind of has, I, I have no more complaints, you know, the hair is just pretty much, Jay Wall is like, I'm going to be an eight-year-old every day of my life, literally eight-year-old every day of his life, um, the wire situation, I'm assuming these are just all wires, um, I mean, wire management is a big deal in streaming, because I have a million wires all over the place, I'm assuming even you guys just playing video games, have a million wires all over the place. Uh, not everybody is an expert wire management guy. Uh, this is <laughs> obviously a fire hazard on Jay. It looks like some of these wires are get going through the door. Like he ran out of outlets. Like he might live in one of those old houses. You know, like when a, when a house gets old. You know, like I can't lie, my girl's like her townhouse is like super kind of new. So even in this, you know, my this room I'm in is like 12 by 12 square, right? But there's probably six outlets all like every four feet on the wall. There's an outlet. It's it's actually insane, right? But when you get to these older houses, you know, before you needed needed ten outlets per per room, they only maybe only had one outlet. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, if you get a house that was made, you know, forty years ago or something, they're not going to have that many outlets. Uh, and maybe he got to jam some of these through the door and plug them up in the hallway or something. Yeah. One room, yeah, Corey. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he had no. Yeah, he really didn't care. You know, I don't know why they had to go to J Wall freeze frame so much. I don't know if he was having technical difficulties with his, with his setups or what with his camera. I don't know what was going on, but the freeze frame did pop up a lot. You know. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, she has a lot. I, I don't want to say there's one every four feet. But say there's one right here to my left, and there's one right here. Like, I can touch two outlets. Right now, like, look, I can I can reach out like this and touch two outlets. Like, it's kind of nuts. Yeah, the hoodie J-Wall freeze frame was pretty nuts. You know, but uh, I, I, this got to be the biggest L on the, on the rooms. It's got to be the biggest L, chat. It's got to be. 
what I'm saying? And the Rock the Lions jersey. Like, at what point did you think wearing a Lions jersey was going to help you? You know, like, come on, man. We got to be smart. Lions just have a legacy of losing. You know, it's almost like wearing a Browns jersey. You know, that, it's just not. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen for you with the lion with the Lions. You know, the Canadian room. Yeah, it looks like Canadian room for sure. But uh, get a bet. I want to say the bed is kind of made. I don't really know what's going on with the bed. You know, I really don't know. I would say this is quarantine hair, but this is literally how Jay Wall has had his hair forever. Yes, they did send a lot of equipment. That's all the wires, cameras, really more than everything. 20K is a lot. I don't know where they came up with that, but shit. I need to, I need to get some more 20K type of equipment. Just... Now, Mama Justin is a good person. My man, Nipple Clamps with the 10 gifted. Put some hennies in the chat for my man, Nipple Clamps. A true demon. Coming through with the 10 gifties. The 10 gifties. And my man went all day with the tier one. Hennies and demons in the chat, boys. You guys know the vibes. Appreciate Nipple Clamps. I mean, now, the wall decor is pretty crazy, you know? We got pictures hanging at equal, at, you know, the same altitude. <laughs> you know, when you got when you got all your pictures at the same altitude, you know, you put a little thought into this, you know? Uh, I, I'm more of a mismatch type of guy. Like, I feel like when you put everything on the same altitude, he really, this is a Justin silhouette. Wow, he has a silhouette of himself. Mama Justin said, I love you, little Justin, so much. I'm going to get a silhouette of you. This is a Justin silhouette. One million percent. All right, that, that's actually kind of nuts when you think about it. This is a Justin silhouette. God damn it. That's him. One million percent. Kind of nuts that you would have a silhouette of yourself in the house. But that's him. Right, chat? I don't think there's any denying that that's him. Right there. Boom. Boom. The deluxe package on picture day. <laughs> Yo, let me get all 12 in a silhouette. Oh, the couch looking rough? Wow, my man got the deluxe pack. I mean, yeah, the couch, uh, something, something bad happened to the couch, bro. I don't, this, this looking a little hurt right here. Still has DVDs. Gotta respect the man that still displays his DVDs. Gotta respect that. I still have DVDs. I put them all in a box because I couldn't sell them and they weren't worth anything. And I was like, might as well keep them, right? Now, I don't know if you guys have DVDs, but, um, you know, I feel like at some point we all had DVDs, right? And uh, kind of pointless now. It, it still amazes me when I go to the store, whether it be Walmart or Target or Best Buy or anything. They still sell DVDs, right? It's kind of wild. Um, but uh, I still have some. Still displays them. Still displays them. Now, I don't know what these are. Is this... I don't know. These are like back-to-back -back the same picture frame, the same layout. What could these pictures be? Now, if this was in more of a man cave, I might think of like sports cards with an autographed picture. Maybe. But now this is in a family living room. What are we talking? What could these two things be? You know, I don't know. You know, I'm not really that hip. Okay, a 2014, a 2004 and 2005 Red Sox commemorative championship pictures. Okay, okay, Justin is here. Talk to us about the silhouette of yourself. Having a silhouette of yourself in the house is pretty nasty, Justin. That's that's what we went to. Like, what? Where did this silhouette come from? Is you know, the, like, what do we get going here? 
And is this the living room? Confirm. Is this a family living room? Because I'm getting family vibes. School project from first grade. This is first grade Justin. Right here is first grade Justin. Oh, you got a whole band cave. Oh, my bad. Okay. Okay, now talk about the DVDs. What's in the collection of DVDs? Now, you know, I guess it's okay to display the... I, one day when I have... A basement, you know, I'm going to have all my DVD, not all my DVDs, but probably like my top 10 DVDs up there, you know. The couch has seen better days. This is a couch that Justin Parents, I, we go, this is how, this is the, the life cycle of couches, right? They go from the main couch you buy to the second couch to the basement couch, right? Then eventually this one will get thrown out. The one from upstairs will come down here and vice versa, so on and so forth. Yeah, the third, exactly, the third tier couch. And once they get a new one in the main room, they'll all move down to tier, and this one will go out to Sanford and Son. You know, I know the cycle, man. You know what I'm saying? But what, like, ah, oh, man. A lot, of, a lot of pictures going on. Okay, so I'm not mad. We, go, we went with the DX Racer. Okay, we got to give Justin the number one chair, right? Has to have the number one chair. But let, 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 he has to have the number one gaming chair. J-Walls. J-Wall looks like... J-Wall's in like a, a bro. I don't even want to talk about his... He might have the biggest L there is. D-Croft. Oh, no, DX Racer. Okay, the black and white one. Not bad. Pavin. Little office chair. Not, not vibing. We got the... I don't know. I don't know. My man Yardstick might have you beat with the with the blanket draped over the chair. And we went over my man uh the Golden Glover's chair, not that tough. And J Walls is the worst. DX Racer, okay. Tier one chair, tier three couch, okay. Oh, you do have the number one shot because you have good depth. You have good depth, Justin. This is what you guys, when you get into art and film like myself, you know, you have a lot of good depth. You know, the eye, the eye, you have a lot that the eye can in, can take in. You know what I'm saying? Like you have depth to where your face is very focused, but then you have a backdrop that's off focus. So a backdrop that's off focus, one, allows me to focus directly on you, but then also my mind stays attached to the frame because I'm, I'm kind of looking at what's in the background. A lot of interesting things, a lot of things for me to really, you know, comprehend with my visual mind. You know, that's why it's the best shot, you know. So, there it is. I mean, and then we go with the fancy man. Fancy, um, one, still Asian. Can confirm, part Asian, still. And they said, <laughs> part Asian. Confirmed. He's got a little Korean or something. Something's going on. Something's going on. Korean something. Now, Fancy uh, won. You know when I knew Fancy wasn't going to win, bro. You know when I knew Fancy. Yes, yes, D. Croft. That's when I knew. When I came into it, because he played the first game, I said, oh, no. Fancy went and took the living room pillows and put them shits in his bedroom. That's when I knew he was he was doing too much, bro. Like he was taking it too far. Like, bro, you don't need seven pillows. You don't sleep with seven pillows. It doesn't happen. It's kind of nuts. He watched a YouTube video on how to just how to put the then there's no way to get into his bed. Like his bed isn't made, it's just a sheet. It's just a sheet put on top of the bed. Like, there's no fold in it. You know, there's no way. Like, this is... Let's look at this bed for a second, chat. How would you go... All right, it's bedtime. You just played eight hours of Madden. It's time to get into bed. How would you go about getting into this bed? That's all I'm saying. Like, how, how would you go about getting into this bed? That's what I want to know. You have to remove all seven pillows to get into the bed. Right? You have to 
to remove all seven pillows. It's a pretty nuts process to do that. Yeah, the sneakers on a dresser, also a little bit psychotic. Now, I've been taught in my life, not that I'm the cleanliness person in here, not that I'm... Shoes touch the ground. Therefore, they stay on the ground. Fancy said no. My, my shoes are going on my dresser. Kind of nuts. You know? Kind of nuts. Yeah, I don't know how you get into this bed. One person said that Fancy irons his sheets. Ironing your bed after it's made is crazy. That's insane. They told me Sometimes Fancy doesn't even go to sleep. He just said, I don't want to mess up the bed tonight. It looks too good. Listen, now we can clown. We can clown glasses, but I've never seen glasses that said they're cool. Let's be honest. When we think about glasses in Madden, we think about bugs. Super fucking lame. Right, chat? You can't have cool glasses. And a man that needs glasses... You know, I can't really bash them because they're wearing glasses. You can't make glasses cool. It can't happen, Chet. Do you understand? It cannot happen. You can make them less nerdy. You can make them less... Like, see, I look at Fancy and I don't really notice the glasses. He's just a man that needs glasses. A man that needs glasses needs glasses. And you have to respect that. Like, it's not that big a deal, really. You know, it's not that big a deal. Now, you can be super nerdy. You can be super nerdy. You know, but you can keep them regular pretty good. You know? Macy's bedroom collection. That that's that he probably went there, got it all laid out. You know, 81 overall. So that's what I'm saying. One, I think we can all all agree J Wall loses. <laughs> J Wall loses bad. Like J Wall actually gets flooded in the bedroom rankings. I think he's the only overall L, right, Chet? He's got to be the only overall L of the bedroom rankings. Only overall L. He's the only one that failed the grade. Everybody else acceptable. I mean, I might have to put Justin in the number one spot. Or, I mean. It's hard to put Croft in the normal spot. He don't really have nothing. It might have to be Justin. You know, I don't know who's the number one spot. Yeah, Croft did play safe for number one, bro. Who we got for number one, man? Pa we still got Pavin. He's fighting. You know, we still got Glover. I don't think Glover can win number one. You know what I'm saying? Yaris thing, I don't think that's number one right there. I mean, a silhouette. I, hanging the silhouette is kind of nasty, though. The silhouette got to be, ah. Uh... Man, Justin really gets the win? Wow. Justin gets the W. He gets the W. He gets the W, chat. Wow. Nuts. But like I said, nobody was really L. And everything as far as cameras, lighting, everything was awesome all weekend. EA did a great job with that. Um, like I said, it's easy for us. We always want to kill them all the time. But they did a great job with this entire uh, with this entire stream, I guess we'll call it. Yeah, this entire tournament was great. Silhouette, not that glitchy. But now I do want to talk about... Do I talk, like I said, PS4. The main thing we got to talk about on PS4... Because, like I said, the games were definitely, um, the games were boring. Pavin kind of just ran away with it. Uh, the one thing, the one thing we do have to talk about is, um, and Joke brought this up, that, uh, the only blip in the radar, chat, was the little disconnection, the lag out between Pavin and my man, uh, Golden Glover, the first one, right? My man, Dini, with the sub. Put some headings in the chat, man. My guy. I do want to talk about this. 
I do want to talk about this as far as like where the game disconnected. Because uh, you're playing online, shit's going to disconnect. Uh, I, I personally feel like internet during the quarantine has... If internet was better before everybody was at home on the internet. Um, so you're going to have some disconnections. We had a disconnection. Pavin versus Yardstick. Okay. Um, Yardstick, I'm not... Yardstick was playing defense. You know, he's playing d- different different defense. Um, and it was 3rd and 18. And this is the play that somebody posted it on 3rd and 18. Uh, I don't even want to put it. You're not going to be able to see it if I put it that big. I don't know. But anyway, Pavin runs. It is 3rd and 18. He runs. And he try, and, and listen, he tries to get away from this guy. That's what he tries to do. He tries. I'm Michael Vick. I can get away from him. The, the lag in this play affected it 0%. The lag that he would have got sacked if it was if he was playing literally at the headquarters of his internet provider. He would have got sacked, right? So he gets sacked, boom, fourth and thirty. Then it drops. You know? And you can tell this because during the play we got no reaction. Pavin's just chilling while he's getting sacked. He's it's not lagging now. But as soon as it lags, then okay, yeah, what happened is lagging out. So to go back and give him this third and eighteen play over is pretty nuts. You know, so I don't know what the, the, the process was talking about this um, and allow, I, I don't know, but um, you got to fight for yourself. Uh, and one thing about you get to these tournaments, one thing you get to these tournaments and sometimes you think, man, I, they're not going to, they're not going to listen to me over, you know, such and such, right chat? You're not going to listen to me over Pavman. He's a club champion. He's got so much experience. I'm just a new guy, you know? You know, uh, for me, uh, you got to stand up for yourself, seriously. And the one example I can give you guys is, you guys have seen Problem, who is the biggest name in Madden. He's been told no on the stage, like, no, we're not, we, you, we're not listening to you, you know? So when you get into these situations, there's no bias, there's no anything, man. If you're at that point uh, of the tournament, man, you're just as important as the next guy. And I feel sometimes a lot of guys uh, feel they don't have enough they don't have enough clout or they don't have enough name to really stand up for themselves. Like, yo, no, like, bro, he's not getting that playback. You know, make them make a decision. Don't just agree to something that's, that's against, that's that much against you. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously you can feel 30 and 18. I can get off the field again. I can stop him or it's not that big a deal, but it is that big a deal. And if you get put in these situations, uh, when you're at these events, man, make sure you stand up for everything you believe. Make them make a decision. And if their decision goes against you, then you live with it and you move on to the next play. But you got you got to fight for yourself, honestly. You know, I would I would be really upset. Uh, you know, no problem wasn't that that man in the lead didn't know what the fuck he was doing. We talked about that though. Yeah, but I'm saying like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, every there's nobody that's. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anybody that's over it. And when it comes to stuff like that, always fight for what you think happened to you. And, and, and you know, so who knows? Who knows? I mean, I will tell you this, that the um the Pavin Yardstick game was closer than the Pavin and the, the, the Golden Glover games. Now, I will tell you, as we get back to that, talking about the Golden Glover games, as I go through that, I just want, it's just one thing I want to say, man. It's like, I watch Golden Glover. Now, I, I, you guys probably didn't watch this game because it was on... I, like, creep-streamed it. But I watched Golden Glover play Skimbo. And go. And I don't think Skimbo got a first down. I think he had more interceptions thrown than yards gained. Literally, Skimbo could not move against Golden Glover, right? So I'm thinking, man, Golden Glover is going to have some defense for, for Pavin. I can't wait to watch this. And he ran a completely different defense. He ran a PG-146... And he never even tried to go to the nickel normal. In two games, in two games, uh, Golden Glover ran nickel normal against Skimbo and against everybody else to get to where he was at, right? And his defense was really good. His defense won him the games. The kid could, really didn't play offense that good in any game I watched him play, but his defense won him the games. And he literally, for two straight games, never, ever went to nickel normal, never thought about it. Uh, so it's another lesson, man. Remember what brought you there. You know, remember what's right. Yeah, listen. You can assume, fancy what I'm saying. You can assume that he knows how to beat it. But when he's dicking down the shit you're putting on the field, you got to try it, right? You can go into the first game, right? Like, okay, he probably knows how to beat this. 
Let me not run it, right? But once he starts frying you, you got to try it, right? You got to try it. And that's kind of to the point where, like, he kind of forgot what brought him there and everything, you know. But it's just a lesson, you know. You don't, you never lose. You just learn. Uh, so I said PS4 wasn't that great. But Xbox. Xbox. Um, and that's what they say, man. He lost two games. Is that a fold? Is losing two games a fold? Like, is that a fold? Is that considered a fold to lose two games to somebody like Pavin? Is that considered a fold? Is that a... Uh, would you guys consider I fold? I had two chances to win. Do I, is it a fold? I'm saying. Just how I feel. Yeah, Glover been fighting. He's been playing. He's been playing Madden, and uh, he's definitely been playing in a lot of different tournaments. I've seen him in a lot of race things, a lot of anything he get his hands on. So he's right there. So he's one of those guys that's right there. Just gotta take the next step in his Madden game. Next year, hopefully, you know, and this was a good experience, honestly. Uh, but like I said, Xbox was good. Uh, Xbox was good. Um, probably, uh, probably the, some of the more entertaining games. Um, like I said, when you have all friends playing each other, it's definitely, um, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be fun to watch, and it was. Uh, I hope you guys watched it. Um, I will tell you, Justin, one thing about these three tight ends and, and, and deuce close or whatever it is, like, or eye close or whatever running offense you're in, right? I've always felt like this. If you're in a running offense, right, I feel like you have to run the ball more. You know, I think the run has to be your biggest threat. You know, like, and I feel like Justin just kind of gave up on the run completely. Although it's boxed, I mean, yeah, it's like you have to be able to run. If you're going to sit in a set with three tight ends, you have to be able to run. You know, because no matter what happens, no matter what happens is, you know, you're not going to be able to pass that high powered out of a running set. I just I just don't feel that. Especially with three, four tight ends. Uh also, uh if you're a runner to begin with, the way you run, uh you run to keep the game close, keep the game shorter. And don't turn the ball over. You know, that's pretty much a runner's game. You know, if you get into if you're a runner and you get into passing 30, 40 times a game, it's not gonna end well for you. And that's pretty much what happened to Justin in his game. Uh, he pretty much lost on offense. You lose games on offense. I feel like every game I've lost this year has been on offense. You lose on offense. You know, especially for somebody that's good on offense. Like fancy, it's hard to give away possessions. It's hard to uh, not score yourself. So that definitely uh, where he lost, I think. Uh, then we go to, what was the next game? It was fancy versus J-Wall. Good game. Um, fancy just couldn't get, wasn't grooving. You know, I don't know if it was the bright lights. I don't know what it was, but that wasn't the fancy that we saw, we've seen for the last two months. Honestly, it really just, it really wasn't. Uh, between Friday Night Football, between Weekend League, between games, between all that, that wasn't the fancy we saw. Uh, wasn't the uh, fancy we've seen all year. Also, and that fancy left left aggressive pass blocking on from the, the end of this, the first half, you know. So, uh, yeah, it just wasn't the sharpest fantasy we've seen. J-Wall won. And that brought us to J-Wall versus D-Croft, which for me, I don't want to say it was the be most It was the most game we could talk about, honestly. I, that's the one game I would like to talk about more is D-Croft versus J-Wall because there were so many situations in there like, D-Croft, like, stop being a bitch, right? I, I wanted to, yo, D-Croft pissed me off this game, man. You know, and... And it worked. I feel like he had so many opportunities to win the game. Uh, and, yeah, it's like he punted on fourth. And we'll look at it. Let's look at it, chat. But he punted so many times. And this is the first one. This one's not that wild, chat. Like, this first punt, as we look at it, and as we see the J-Wall freeze frame, the glitch, the J-Wall freeze frame, Somehow I'm still behind. 
You know, so this was one was not wild. Fourth and three, I believe we're looking at right here. Fourth and three, and we're talking about we are on, we are on midfield, right? Yeah, he just wanted to play defense. So this one I did not think was super wild. I still think you could go for this, you know, but I did not think this punt, this punt was that wild, chat. I think this one was definitely um. What's the word I'm looking for? Definitely, I, I guess we can agree with this. But one thing about Madden is this when he dots him too. Jesus. See, that's when you're hype over a punt, you don't want to play anybody that gets that hype over a punt, chat. That was a super dot. And we get to, he actually lasers him, gets out of there. Um, we got to add. And then I'm like, damn, you could go get, you could, you could have went for that fourth down and you could have got yourself a field goal. If you get yourself a field goal, you definitely win. And that's why I swear, nickel normal is just, nickel normal is a bitch. It really is. He has no abilities on his wide receivers. What? Are you talking about uh, D. Croft has no abilities? My man is with the sub. My guy, I appreciate you. Yeah, having lurker is pretty nuts. I guess it just stops everything over the middle with a tight end. That damn that intensive grounding was rough. One thing about this, right? This play this play was interesting, right? You get a third and thirty two, right? If if you're J Wall. You know? You get third and thirty two. <laughs> What's crazy about 3rd and 32, as we sit here and talk about it, like, you're probably punting, Chet, right? Right? Let's just agree. You're probably punting the ball. Right? And I feel like sometimes you have to go into those, you have to go into these situations knowing that you're probably punting the ball. And it's like, with the time on the clock, a third down, y'all. A third down, if you could punt on third down, would be a better call than what he did right here, right, Chet? You could really punt on third down because you're not getting this shit. You would have to get two 15 yard plays, right? Seriously, I will tell you this. Now, I would definitely try to get a 15 yard play. There's no way I would punt, but to run the ball when the clock is against you is fucking nuts. You're just milking yourself. My point is that I would not try. To, I would not punt. But punting on third down is better than running the ball. Right? That's what I'm saying. You could spike the ball. You could throw it away. But running the ball on third and 32 with three minutes and 39 seconds left is the worst thing you could do. The worst thing you could do. Because you're just going to get the clock running. And I'll show you guys what happens. Is that he runs the ball... Runs his little toss and just gets boxed, right? So he gets boxed. So now the clock is running. You're like, shit, right? You're like, you're like, we're going to run the ball. I have to punt as soon as possible. I have to punt. No, I, honestly, if I don't think an NFL team would run the ball there. I, I think run, running the ball there is just obnoxiously bad. It's obnoxious. So you're going to punt them. You're going to punt. You're going to get a little bit of a runoff, 334. Even if you would have spiked the ball, you would have saved yourself 15 seconds. And on top of that, as we watch Jay Wall punt right here, he knows he has to get rid of the ball. He's already 20 seconds down, so he just punts fast as hell. And I don't know who his punter is, but not the best effort on the punt. I mean, you punt the ball 30, 40 yards most, so now D. Croft is in decent field. Not, de not good field position, but not bad field position, right? Yeah, he lost 30 seconds of gameplay, which is essentially another play. You know? Then, I I mean, I, when you're playing defense as good as um, as good as Decroft is, I guess you can waste plays with runs like this. You know? But I would have liked him to come out aggressive on first down. But he does laser him right there. That's a good throw. That's a good throw, and I'll tell you why I like this throw is because most of the time, some people will wait for this post route to get all the way over here. He saw it open up before it got to this vert hook and just, boom, just fit it in there. Good throw. Now you're at midfield worth a two-minute warning, right? 
you're feeling like this game's over. One first down, this game is over. Now he'll do this. Now if you're J-Wall, I mean, this is, bro, this game is cooked for me. Right, Chad? Yeah, the the J-Wall picture is not. Shout out my man Seven Deadly with the Twitch Prime, my guy. Is this the fullback dive defense? Just no spread, no. Like, what are we doing here? Okay, got bagged. Now you're looking like I don't know. Uh, that's why I say bring a kicker to the party. Kicker wins you this game. Another run right there. Uh, I feel like Mr. Runstick got. I feel like Mr. Runstick Decroft got to get this first down right here. I don't know. His his fullback got blown or his pulling guard got blown up. Let me get to a fourth down. Now for me. Chat, 100 times out of 100 times, I'm going for this. I'm going for this. Because, right? If I can't kick the field goal, obviously. But I'm going for this. And why am I going for this as we pause the game here? He has no timeouts. It's fourth and two. Now, you have a great chance punting the ball and stopping him. The runoff is crazy. He has to get seven anyway, right? So... You're just right with risk and reward here, right? The risk, worst case scenario is you turn the ball over. He has it on his own 41, needs to go 59 yards with no timeouts to, to tie the game up, right? That's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario is the game's over, right? If you go for this here, you give yourself two chances of winning the game. Right? You have a chance of winning the game by stopping him on defense. That's a big chance you got, right? That's a big chance by stopping him, just giving him the ball and stopping him. But you also have a chance, one play for two yards, and the game's over. Right? Now, I think this decision, I think this decision, I think this decision uh, changes if there's a minute left for me. A minute 48, although it's not a lot of time, it's still it's still, it's still a little hunk right there, honestly. Uh, so for me, uh, I would go for this because when the way I think about it is it gives you two chances to win the game. Not only do you have your chance on defense if you don't get the first down, but you get one chance to get one one play for three yards. You know, But obviously it worked out. He's playing ridiculous defense. I don't think he dotted him as crazy on this punt as he did on the last one. Yeah, he could have fake punted him, I think. <laughs> he could have fake punted with Mostert. Yeah, he didn't dot him crazy right here. It was a good punt. It wasn't a great punt, but to get him at the 12, that's a good punt, honestly. With a minute, yes, I agree. So punting with a minute is way different than a minute and 40. Or two minutes pretty much left. But at the same time, that was a missile right there. I can't believe Cribs held on to that pass. Great timing on that pass by Jay Wall, honestly. I like the spike. I like the spikes in these because the time is more valuable than the downs, really. I I feel like, and if you know huddle, you're taking time at the line, you're audible, and you're wasting more time. If you spike, now you can do this this audible, and you can do this uh, motion, hot routes, everything else that you want to do. You know? Yeah, all pro... I wish everything was all Madden at some point. I don't know if that was a little bit of palms or what that was. That was just the the edge threats getting edgy. See, I think being up three, I might I might be more likely to punt it if I was up three. Because if I turn it over, he's pretty much in field goal range there. I didn't see up three, I'm probably definitely punting. Yeah, John, that's what I feel fancy. Like, up three, I'm scared. I mean, you gotta get out. Once he cut blocks, bro. Once I get that cut block, and that's GG's pretty much. Once these dudes just yeah. But once I get this cut block, this was good pocket stepping left. Once I get that, I'm out to the right right away, bro. We're out to the right, just to get out of that shit. Cause I, I, there's no spy here. I you know. I'm getting out to the right and either throw the ball away or make a play with Vic. You know. But that goes to J Wall not having escape artist. Like, he's good at left triggering, but, bro, like, is that not what... I, I didn't even remember that until this point. He doesn't have escape artists. So, it's like, can he even make that move that I'm talking about? 
I'm getting the fuck out of there after I see that cut block. But and he gets hit and fumbles. And that's GG's. And Decroft, bro, I want no parts. But Decroft, bro, he, I, he might he might be the favorite. He might be one of the favorites going into Madden Bowl, honestly. Yeah, the edge threat's eight. The edge threat's definitely eight. Uh, that's why he doesn't have any abilities on the on the wide receivers. Because we got edge threats and we got centers. He, he put together a good team. I'm be honest on that. He definitely put together a good team. And it worked out for him, really. You know. Yeah. And that's why I said, and that's why I said, uh, said I always thought the the easiest thing to do this year is make abilities no cap, really. Yeah, I, I always feel like, I always feel like, bro, like the people that are playing the best right now are really, you know, they definitely got to be some type of a favorite going into it because they're playing. Like, and we'll look at, as we go on to the, let's, let's go on to the actual, talk about Man Bowl a little bit. Obviously, when we we'll be talking about Man Bowl. Man Bowl starts May 6th, which is what, like a week from now, right? Or two weeks? I don't know. So it's coming up real soon. Is it this weekend? Are we? Is it is Man Bowl this weekend, chat? I'm not. Up, I'm not up on my calendar. I'm not up on. Let's take a look at my calendar here. Google Calendar. Got it. Google Calendar. Dude, never mind. I never want to go to Google. So it is two weeks now. It's two weeks. Uh, oh, actually, it starts on Wednesday. Okay, so it's a week away. So we'll have a huge, a huge podcast next week, really talking about predictions and everything like that. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So let's take a look at these groups real quick. Um, let's take a look at these groups uh, and just who we like, and just take a look at how they are put together boom there's your groups pretty cool damn graphic I, I mean be honest this graphic is is fire I will be honest in telling you guys that this graphic is fire and Justin's graphic not that fire I just want to get rid of this it's pissing me off this uh How can I do this effectively here, chat? All right, that'll, that'll have to work. I was getting tired of that white background there. All right, so graphics pretty cool. Betting odds, we will have that next week. I mean, we could probably do that this week. No, next week we'll have betting odds and I'll have official predictions. So each day is a group day. Um, uh, yeah, May 7th is going to be good. Journey, Kiv, Mo, Mills. I mean, Rage looks like he's 49 and 15 at the same time. I didn't know it was possible for Rage to look 49 and 15 at the same time. Didn't know that was possible. Wesley in this picture looks kind of like a boss. I'll be honest. Wesley looks kind of bossed up. I might like him. I might like Wesley. His hair actually looks A1. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how they did my, my man D. Croft picture though. I guess he never he never had another live event picture. D. Croft looked like he took a picture at home and sent it to him, bro. I don't like this, bro. Yeah, I don't like this fancy. That that's gotta be this. I I feel disrespected. If if I'm TNC, I feel disrespected. Flip phone decroft. I feel a little disrespected. Yeah, Wesley looks kind. Of, this is this is the most gooned up Wesley has ever looked, bro. This might be Wesley's tournament. I might like him. I might like him. So uh, yeah, I mean you gotta say like I said uh, the mo the mo journey group that looks super hell with Kiv. I mean Pav and Joke and Volt and Bugs. I mean we rooting for Bugs, but he gotta be the underdog in that group, huh? And we got Clef and Noah rematch. 
uh, scheming and little man. Uh, that's that's a tricky little group. Then Wesley and, and Henry and D. Croft and Rage. I mean, Rage is bro. Rage is the man, bro. Like he, that's a face of a man that just got off Tinder with some good news, right, Chat? That's a face of a man that just got off Tinder with some good news. Like Danielle definitely hit him back with the hay. He definitely got hit with a hay from Danielle right there, bro. Yeah, May 7th is the 7th, 9th, 7th, 9th, even 6th. I mean, this is what I'm saying. No, Wesley, I mean, Wesley looks kind of hell right there. Rage, uh, Rage did good in D.C. Didn't he make the live event in D.C.? No golf shirt, no win. Fun. That's what I'm saying. Who of these 16 people is going golf shirt? You know D-Croft is going golf shirt. Who else would go golf shirt? Pavin's going golf shirt. I might have to hit Cleffa. We might have to get a needed game in golf shirt. Nah, Clef is going needed game in golf shirt, bro. It's going down. It is going down. Vault goes golf shirt? Does Vault go Cardinals golf shirt? Or does Vault go like I, I see Vault like a Tommy Hill figure striped golf shirt? Dugatti. Bro, can we drop the Dugatti, bro? That shit is dead. My man is Reggie, alright? Refer to him as Reggie from here on out. Well, I told you, once once Bugs lost the race battle versus, versus Civil, the Dugatti shit got to get thrown out, bro. His name is Reggie. No, we can't throw out Bugs. Bugs is still there. But the Dugatti shit, no, no. A after, he lost, after he lost the Civil, bro, that shit took a bad. Yeah, that shit got bad. That shit got to go. We're not, we not getting rid of Bugs. He's not going to be Reggie yet. Cause he's still in man boy, he's ready to pop. So he's still bugs, but we're not going Dugatti, that shit gotta go. Yeah, I believe three people advance, you know. But like I said, I'll talk more about uh essentially who I like, who I'm picking. We'll get betting odds to win Madden Bowl. We we should do that. Um I mean This is a little weird, I guess. No, I guess you got every, three belt winners, and you got the other group as the highest point people, Henry, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Bugs has been uh, Bugs has been consistently good. That makes sense. Never great. Never his time yet, but he's been consistently good. And, and I, I'd, I'd sign up for consistently good, honestly. Mills gets flooded? Uh, I don't know if we can go that far, bro. I think you tripping on that one. I think Kiv is the only person. Uh, I think Kiv is the only person that could flood. I don't think Journey and Mills is a flood either way. No matter how good one. and Mo, I just they not they all this all defensive players. Other honestly, Kiv's a, Kiv Kiv's defense is probably. I, I don't think we talk about it enough. I, I think you could say those are three, like, of all the best defensive players, that, that those are four really good defensive players in this group right there. Really. I mean, the only other person that I would, like, obviously, Joke, Joke would be up there as best. But the other, like, Clef's defense is solid. Noah's defense was good in D.C. We'll see what he does in salary cap. Uh, but, dude, Drenny and Mo and, and Mills is just sending nine at you. Um, and Kiv is always probably the most underrated defensive player, like, ever, honestly. <laughs> For real. You know? And you talk about, like, like this, the, the, the more we talk about it, the more this group is hell in a cell. Because it's such good defensive players, really, all of them. Really. No, Kiv not gonna talk. Passing is passing is good, dude. Passing is it's not good, but it's not bad. It's not impossible. And the way honestly, three three five odd has really nerfed, um, nerfed the the straight run game. So I'm really interested in uh, what Vault does on offense. Interested on what Joke does on offense, because the one thing about Joke, and Joke will tell you, man, like as far as being having the hottest offense before everybody. Dude, Joke has been there for two tournaments so far. Two. 
maybe even three if we want to talk about strong close in DC. I don't think it's as good. But to have Lane Johnson nasty streak in the classic and not win the tournament, got to be disappointed. And to have the blast, and, and, and bro, joke was blasting it ass before it was it popped it up out of nowhere. You know, so to have those two offenses before everybody, you know, so I'm really interested in whatever offense Joke runs right now. I want to see what offense Volt runs right now. Um, obviously, we kind of know Bugs, Pav, and Kid probably bunching. You know, so it's like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Joke, I want that. That's that's what I'm most excited about between Joke's offense, Volt's offense. See how Noah is playing. What scheming going to do? You know, Little Man is going to be the PG version of Joke. Um, so it's really exciting things to look forward to next week. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really uh, going to be dope, honestly, for the different things I like to see. What is Rage going to run? Like, what the fuck is Rage going to run? Yeah, Joke ran the blast the right way, bro. I'm just mad. You know what I realized today, too? One, they put the blast in the game after I got eliminated. Boom. They bring the blast back, but when it's time to play this three three five, this three or the two four five, the bam defense just bags it. Shout my man Rico with the five gifted, the five gifted for Rico man. Put the demons in the chat. We are closing in on twenty one hundred subs. That's fucking nuts right now, chat. Nuts. So this is what I'm saying is this. Um, no, but so. They put the they put the blast in the game after I get popped. They put it in the game, but then they got this this two four five defense that super bags the blast, right? Two four five bags the blast, right? What did they do to two four five? The instant LCQ, the instant I'm out of LCQ, what happened? Pass two four five. So now blast is tough again. I swear to God, bro. Nah, joke. I nah, that dude. I, I wasn't good enough at it. Honestly, I didn't play against it enough because I didn't know I was going to be in the tournament. Honestly. No, that dude came right in. I knew I honestly wasn't good enough at motioning and just didn't I didn't play the game enough. Dudes were like, Yep, you're back in the tournament. I was like, alright, let's get it. Definitely pad they definitely passed me, bro. They passed me all year. Uh I don't know what time it starts. We'll definitely be live for all these games for sure. So think twice, bro. If you have your notifications on dub.w stream or my Twitter or my Instagram or my TikTok. Or my Facebook. You know what I'm saying? You could check that out. You know what I'm saying? You know? You think Bam got another defense? I honestly, from what I see, from what I see in the game, now, I'm, I, obviously, I'm not playing at the highest level of these guys. But I said, I feel like 335 really stops the run. You know? And I feel like it's going to be hard to be just running the ball. You know? I feel like I tight is super dead. Um, I feel, you know, I, I, three three five wide is really tough against the run, you know. You know, so for me, uh, well, I'm I'm really interested to in see how see how everybody plays. I think it's going to be a pass heavy tournament. Um, interesting seeing what Mills does on offense. Interesting seeing what Mo does on offense. What is Mo going to run on offense? I think Mo one of Mo's biggest problems is that. He went away from the run, 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 dude. Like, like he said before, like he didn't think it was good, and he was the best at it at first. <laughs> like, you know. I think Henry will have problems. Well, Henry's not really a runner, Junior Jansen. Hen Henry, uh, the one thing about Henry, he did so good in the classic because he still passed with uh, you know West Coast and everything, but he used the Cowboys, so he still ran sweep with Zeke. He still mixed in some runs, and that's why he has so much success. So I wouldn't call Henry a runner at all. You know? Yeah, we'll see what Mo does, really. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm I'm super interested in it. I'm super ready to watch it. Um all the success they've had with the um with the LCQ. I think LC I think L C Q worked out perfectly for them. I don't know what was the initial plan of the LCQ. Was the initial plan to fly those guys out for a live event? Or was the initial plan to always have that at home? You know, I'm not really sure. I'm assuming it was fly them out. I don't know what the plan was. Um, but I, it's good that it worked out. Like, LCQ was kind of a warm-up. 
you know, they kind of warmed up like this is how we're going to do it. So they got a little bit of experience under the belt. So Man Bowl should be. Honestly, I'm looking forward. To, I, I think it's probably going to be one of the best events they've ever done, honestly. How many Vicks? Kiv, Wesley, Clef going to be a dickhead, bro. I'm going to try to tell Clef to get Vic, get on the Vic train. But Kiv and Wesley for sure. <sighs> I don't know what Joe going to do. That's what I'm saying. I really don't know. Like, that's why it's so interesting to see. Like, let me sit in. Let me really lock in and see what these guys are going to do. Um, did Pavin use Vic, didn't he? Yeah, Pavin used Vic. Now, Little Man's going to do whatever Joke does, but a PG version. And he's going to fight. No, you're not putting Vic out there. Don't cap, bro. No, you are putting 11 cap Eli out there, bro. You think Bugs ain't going to go Vic, bro? Bugs going to try to... Bugs be trying to be out the box. He going to do like... He going to have like fucking Tua or some shit. Watch. Pavin, there he is. Pavin, we asked, is your is your is your bed is your blanket on your bed? Is it from JC Penny's, bro? That's all we asked. Did you get this is what where we're at and we'll show right now, Pavin. Did we get the blanket from JC Penny, bro? That's all that's all the people want to ask, bro. Is this blanket from JC Penny's, bro? That's all. All all confirmation we need, bro. Is this JC Penny blanket? Because bl JC Penny be having blankets on the low. On the low, they be having some blankets. Are they from India? Oh, then say, oh, you got the official joint. See? Now, that might be more points. He got the official joint. See? The official. The official missile right there. Certified. Extra points. Extra points. Extra points, man. Plus three overall, bro. The authentic. No, but no. Y'all can't front, bro. Yo. I will tell you this, between J.C. Penney's, Marshalls, uh, T.J. Maxx, whatever, they be having some fire home decor on the low. Chat like the little the the vases, the picture frames. You know they be having some shit in that back left corner. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Candles, candle holders. You guys know what I'm talking about. Wish list. You want to add to the wish list? You know what I thought about the wish list, chat? Yay or nay on wish list? Y'all want to talk more wish list? TJ Maxx is the glitch. Oh, I'm telling you. Am I, chat, am I lying about that back left corner of JCPenney's or Marshall's? Yo, that back left corner is fire, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. All right, I did. I, what I was gonna say is, once we go to wish list, it's gonna start getting. It's gonna. I'm gonna. Let's open it though. Wish list. Boom. Let's get it, boys. Let's talk. We can add two more things to the wish list. Add two more things here, boys. Okay. We got our pipe dream wish list, and we got our realistic. Any ideas early? Are there any ideas you guys got? We got we got save audibles custom playbook no that will never be on my list fun no Burlington I am not a Burlington type of guy for the home decor but I believe you Burlington is like a, a poor man's Marshalls if you go to Burlington over Marshalls you, something's wrong with you dude Mutt practice mode good idea Dirk okay not only sending a spy and a salary cap realistic wish list. Uh, practice mode. I think that's a good one to add this week. You guys agree? I think that's a pretty good one to add this week. Practice mode. Historic teams. Adjust abilities in game. Adjust abilities in game, Bucknut. Like, all right, let's talk about this. I, that Bucknut comes up with a good point. Uh, just an interesting topic to talk about. Adjust abilities in game. Let's talk about adjustabilities in game. Like what? What could that be? Like okay, I. I think, I don't think you could do that because essentially you would have every ability. Like okay, it's time to pass now. Let me put on my gunslinger and my escape artist, right? Sc Sc Weekly is not going to have it happen. 
Uh, but that's why we got to save audibles. Like, like yo, leather, leather tenders, bro. I'd like for you guys to read the screen just a little bit before we just type, okay? I'm not, you don't got to read everything on the screen, but you know, we read a little bit, chat, okay? Just a little bit of reading, okay? All Madden. Feel the punts, I'm telling you. I think practice mode's a good one to add to the wish list. I think that's a good, I think that's a realistic one. Now let's talk about, all right. Resetting settings. That's it. Right, that's in here. See, do you not see this? Like, bro, read the fucking screen. There's four words on the screen and you guys aren't reading them. I will tell you this. I will tell you this about training. This is my official ruling on training, chat. This is my, from the bottom of my heart, right? From, I was about, from the bottom of my heart. Training is cool, right? The only way to make training not a scam, refund 100%. Refund 100%. That, that's it, and I think, it, I think it changes everything. I think, one, you still need training, right? But two, it's not a super scam. Do you guys agree with making that? I feel like that balances out the fact that we still need training, but it's not the most buku biggest scam ever. Re just refund 100%. I think that will really uh, calm down how big a scam training is right now. You know? Sprinter needs to go. Sprinter needs to, <coughs> Sprinter needs to just all the way go, honestly. But I don't really want to get into. I, I don't like. I said I want to do a little bit each week. So this will. So by the time we get to June, uh, this is a a huge wish list. That's good. I don't want to get away. I think the realistic wish wish this week mutt practice mode is super realistic. Uh, I think that's a good ad. No, I just really think. McNasty, yes. It should definitely... Speed should definitely go over 100. But let's talk about... Relax, 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 relax. Relax, 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 relax. You guys are really passionate about this. I like it. Let's talk about a pipe dream wish list. Like, give me a pipe dream. Something that you guys are probably unrealistic, but we want in Madden. Let's talk about that. Let's not talk about realistic things or obvious things. Let's talk about 7 on 7. I see. I feel like that's realistic. An open date. I feel like that's kind of realistic too. I think seven on seven is realistic, bro. If they don't add seven on seven, they're tripping. Custom. I no custom playbook is bad. Let me tell you guys, man. Cause because I feel like there's people in here that believe in custom playbooks. I really think there's people in here that believe in custom playbooks. I really do. You know, and and I want to just before you guys keep talking, man. Listen. What I want to tell you guys, custom playbooks is bad for Madden. Part of a skill of a Madden player, one, is knowing the playbooks. Two, deciding on what playbook you're going to run. Because you have to decide what your strengths are, what you run the best, and what you will sacrifice not having because you want to run your strongest formation. You know? Also, just the knowledge of scrolling through formations, knowing the formations that are in your playbook... Knowing how many audibles you, how many, say, bunches, five audibles left from Trey Y Flex. Knowing that stuff and always having that stuff and being better than it than the next guy is a huge skill in Madden. One million percent. Now, this year has been kind of shitty because Oakland has everything. And uh, it, it's just it's just a shitty playbook. Uh, it just kind of ruined the game. Also, I feel like um, the defensive playbooks, are there's too much going on in the defensive playbooks. I don't know, but custom playbooks are bad, period. It really, it removes a big aspect of being a good man player, if that makes sense, really. So custom, so custom playbooks for me will never be something I ever want in the game. You know, and it's hard, it's hard to go to the point to where it's like, man, uh, at the end of the day, you should be able to run any play you want. I mean, it's football. You should be able to run any play you want, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's Madden, and picking a playbook 
and uh, justifying which playbook you pick is a big part of the game, honestly. All right, but let's think about a pipe dream. We got our we got our realistic wish list. Yeah, custom jerseys. That's kind of realistic. Um, get rid of nano detection. I one million percent. I feel like that's a great one. Nano detection sucks. It sucks. It was cool before they had doubling. Before they had ID in the mic. I understand nano detection. But I, this is what nano detection had. Like, I, I'm putting that in Pipe Dream. Nano detection, I'm putting that. That's going to be my one. I don't care what, what else you guys say. We're going to talk the rest, the next couple minutes about nano detection. I, 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 like. That's, that's a great one. I, and I'll tell you guys why. I was thinking, honestly, what's crazy about that? I was thinking about this today, right? The game is boring as fuck on defense. It is boring as shit defensively. It's boring. The only blitzes that work are just off the edge. That's it. You can't try to trick an offensive lineman. You can't try to get them to slide one way and you'll get an A-gap because they think this edge pressure. There is no creativity in blitzing the quarterback. None whatsoever. There is zero creativity. There's just no, there's no creativity on defense. None. Defense definitely is brain dead. Seriously. It's either rush four with a spy or it's send everybody. You know? Whereas if there was no nano detections, you guys see where if you overload one side, maybe your opponent will slide and then maybe your D tackle shoots right in. Or if they double team the wrong guy, you can bluff something and find a way to get an A gap. Find a way to get your DN shooting right in. This is what makes people spend hours in the lab. This is what had lab rats being tough because they could find these angles and find these glitchy blitzes, you know? And now that's completely dead because the only blitzes that really work are just edge blitzes, off the edge. Here we go, off the edge. You know, and it's just boring as shit. There is no creativity in attacking the quarterback, you know? And that is 1,000% because of nano detection, you know? You know? And also, nano detection is the reason why I can say I go play freaking. If I play Johnny down the street, I can't beat him 100 to 0. Back when it was nanos, you can beat somebody 100 to 0. You know, it's a, it's a super skill gap knowing good pass protection, setting up good defenses to attack the quarterback. Nano detection 1000% is terrible for the skill gap in man. It really is. And it just makes defense boring. You know, I don't think they'll ever get rid of it because what was told to me on this podcast by Rex, who was the person there who they, when they installed nano detection, it was that it was just having Clowney running and sack the quarterback every time just looked really shitty when he sat there with NFL people, you know, and that's pretty much what made them decide this looks shitty for Madden. It looks shitty for football. We're going to get rid of this, you know. But to come in with, with features like Double Team, features like ID the Mic, those are good things, you know, to get to stop these A-gaps, to stop these nanos. But they're also weapons for the defense, if you understand what I'm saying. If I'm a defensive coordinator, that's my weapon. I have to make them afraid of said player over here so they double team him, ID him. Bang, now we get an A-gap from the middle linebacker. Or bam, now we get an A-gap from the D-tackle because he's worried about Clowney on the left side. You know, that's part of defense. That's part of being create, creative on defense. That's what made Mike Scrape so good. Now, it was dumber then because you really couldn't do anything about this shit, you know. But now with all these features for pass blocking and stuff, you should, I mean, we should try getting rid of nano detection and see what it's like. I think it would help the creativity behind defense. I really do. Yeah, so I do believe that's a good, that's a good one for the pipe. I feel like those are good additions. I feel like we added two good additions today. Uh, damn, is this shit off the screen? Am I that ass? Damn, was that off the screen? Damn, I'm ass, ass streamer. Womp, womp, womp. I feel like these are good additions, chat. I feel like these were W's. I feel like our list... I feel like our list is good right now, man. 
Yeah, that I, I agree with that, Steve. I mean, to, if you're on competitive, get rid of nano detection. But then, then, then here we go with this thing, competitive. What is weekend league going to be on? What is the main? Let's just be real. What is simulation? What? Who plays that shit? Seriously, who plays that mode? So as you have this arcade mode and you have this simulation mode, who plays them shits? Those two modes. Who plays that shit? So basically, yo, the the, the entire competitive simulation arcade is just they're just blowing smoke in your face. I hate that shit because nope. No man is ever going to play on the shitty modes. I, it's just, it's just how, it's just how men think. It's how human beings think. You know, I'm not shitty enough to play on. Oh, there's a, comp, a competitive side. There's a competitive mode. Of course, I'm going to play that. Even if I suck. Even if I'm one of the bots that screams simulation, I'm not going to play on a simulation mode. You know. Nah, I just feel like nobody. Uh, I don't feel like nobody plays simulation. You know, that's just how I feel. Yeah, that competitive mode shit was an L. For me, for me at least, it was an L. A Larry legend. It was a Larry, Larry legend, man. But I appreciate you guys. We are closed in on 1,200 or 2,100 subs. It's fucking nuts. It's lit. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, This was the Needed Podcast, episode 78. 78? Closing on 80 episodes? Closing in on 80 episodes? Are we glitchy? But I appreciate you guys coming through, man. If you're on YouTube, please hit that like button. Please comment below on what we should add to the giant needed podcast wish list.